Hi everyone, welcome to OneFinance, and in this video we're going to cover bond yield curve, or also known as the term structure of interest rates. It's actually a chart that plots interest rates across bonds of various standards, and the slope gives an idea on the direction of future interest rates and economic activity. Now, ano yung nako cost for the bond yield or, or yeah, yield curve to move? Uh, there are so many factors, but ang um, mga uh, common ones, we have monetary policy rate. So, pag nag-cut ng interest rate yung Banko Central ng Pilipinas, we, we can see some movements dun sa short uh, end tail ng, ng yield curve. Pag inflation naman, let's say higher inflation, would demand for higher interest rate. So, nakakaroon din siya ng, ng movement. And, uh, of course, economic activity. So, yung um, interest rates are actually affected by the demand and supply of credit sa market. So, nakakaroon ng movement adjustments yung sa yield curve natin. So, yung normal na itsura ng yield curve is actually like this. It would... Um, suggest that shorter tenor bonds would have lesser interest rates if you compare them to longer tenor bonds okay so we, we can conclude that a one-year uh, tenor bond will have lower interest rate compared to let's say a 10-year tenor bond okay so kung flat naman, that would signal uh, uncertainties in the market Okay, and ang inverted naman na direction ng yield curve actually tries to indicate na merong, let's say, upcoming recession or economic downtrend. So, ito yung ginagamit na, na signal or, or leading indicators ng mga analysts to predict economic activity. Now, ano yung itsura ng bond yield ng Philippines? Now, we have here from uh, world government bonds uh, website you're looking at the the philippines yield curve for government bonds as of july 14 2020 so if you if nasundan niyo yung discussions natin on on the introduction of or intro to bonds so malalaman niyo doon yung basic valuation of uh, bond selling at par premium or at a discount so here, may kita nyo na yung, yung two-year bond, let's say, would give uh, 2%, pero yung, let's say, 24-year bond would give you, let's say, around 35 3.7%. So yun yung normal na direction ng, ng yield curve. Now, let's say uh, six months ago, you actually bought a bond, okay, at 4%. So at yung, yung interest uh, or coupon rate ng bond mo. Now, um, let's say now the same tenor bond that you bought, you know, six months ago or five-year tenor, that's around 2.3% na lang. So basically, if you're a, a bond trader, okay, you can unload your bond here. You can sell your bond at a premium. Why is that? Because your bond actually has a higher interest rate compared to what the market is offering. So, pwede mo ibenta yung bond mo at a premium, and then you try to look for other investments that are, you know, suitable for your um, investment uh, tolerance or, or risk profile. So, kung, kung nag-trade ka ng stocks, you're looking at the PSEI. If you're trading bonds, ito naman yung chart na dapat mo tingnan, yung yield curve. Okay, so that will be all for now. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.